Updates on the smoke in our area and the air we breathe. Right now, the air quality still isn't great, but things are starting to get a little bit better. Good evening, I'm Leslie Foster. Let's begin with your health and what you need to know tomorrow. As we look live toward the Washington Monument, you can see that haze is still sticking around. And when you wake up in the morning, you can expect more of this smoke that you can see and smell, and that means you still need to be careful when you step outside. A weather watch alert remains in effect tonight. Tenacious Topper Shutt is out on the weather terrace to talk about what we're dealing with right now. Top. Well, right now it is a little bit better actually, and that's why we're outside. So we're in between code orange and code red. So the air quality is not crazy good, but it's not awful. Remember, we set a record for the worst air quality ever. Okay, so let's let's talk about the smoke loop as opposed to a satellite loop. We'll take you back in time uh, 24 hours ago. Now, if you were with us last night, this went all the way back to Chicago. It's not quite as far west. Doesn't quite cover the entire eastern seaboard as thoroughly but it's pretty bad along the I-95 corridor still from D.C. to Baltimore to Philly uh, to New York, even at this hour. But notice Western Maryland, you know, it's beginning to get much, much better there. So here's the forecast and here's the takeaway. It's going to kind of ebb and flow tomorrow, OK? So this is 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock in the morning. It will probably be maybe briefly code red. So just keep that in mind. If you head outside and you smell something, then you got to treat it as code red. By the time we get to say, you know, 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock, you're fine west of town, but D.C. over toward Bowie and Annapolis, that's going to be kind of a problem. And then it's kind of shifts west of town, still pretty good as we get into the late morning hours. And then by the time we get into, say, you know, lunchtime, gets better in D.C., but now it gets worse up toward Gaithersburg and Hagerstown. So, again, that's the takeaway. We'll come back and tell you if we're going to be code red or code orange tomorrow. Council of Government will decide that. But again, baby steps is what we're talking about tomorrow. Yeah, we're talking about baby steps top it. But even if we're taking small steps, do we still need to take precautions tomorrow? I think the best advice that we can give folks is if you if you smell the smoke or you see the haze like we had today, even if you're healthy, don't go outside. But if the haze begins to lift a little bit or if you're outside, you don't smell anything and we're code orange, then you're OK. If you have respiratory problems tomorrow, you shouldn't go out at all anyway. Got it. All right. And of course, we'll be following this on Get Up DC in the morning for sure as well.